all, my name is Manoj and I'm going to be leading us through this basics practice today. Thank you for joining me here again in I'm Yogi. Thanks for logging on and taking part in this practice. So this practice today that we're going to be doing is focused on anxiety and stress. So in our lives at the moment with the uncertainties that we are feeling, our emotions can be very up and down. So this is a very holistic practice where we're going to be using many different breathing techniques to help us. One in particular we're going to be looking at today is Brahmi breath, honey bee breath. And I'm going to be demonstrating this now for us before we move on, as later on we'll be just going straight into it. So Brahmi breath, we take a full inhale and take a full exhale and we're making a low humming sound from the back of our nose. And this Brahmi breath is really good for helping to clear our mind release any negative emotions and it can help us in times of insomnia. So I'll demonstrate this for you now. So we take a breath in just to fill up from the abdomen and then we make the sound through the nose. So there's going to be many opportunities in this practice today to try this. Okay, so let's come into a seated position and we're going to open that practice. So just closing down the eyes for a moment. We'll bring the hands together into Namaskar Mudra, centre of the chest. Bringing the left and right sides of the body together. Just feeling balanced and comfortable in our seat. We're going to open our practice today by the chanting of the sacred sound of Om three times. And just reminding us even though we are apart at this moment, by chanting this sound, it can help unify and bring our energies together wherever we may be. Let's take a breath in. Oh. Inhale. Oh. to you all. Namaste to everybody here. Thank you for joining me today. Let's make our way now to lying down on the earth for abdominal breathing. So just allowing the outer edges of the feet to move towards the earth. We'll place the hands on top of the abdomen, touching the index fingers and the thumbs together to create a triangle. And the other fingertips just lightly resting on the abdomen. So just take a few moments here just to arrive safely on your mat today. Backs of the legs. The spine. Shoulders. Arms hands and head settled in carefully and softly on the earth today. So whatever you may have arrived to the mat with today, just beginning to let go of these things as you take an exhale. And as we breathe, connect with the fingertips and feel the breath as you breathe in has been guided to the abdomen and the abdomen expands in all directions. And then as we exhale, abdomen moves closer towards the base of the spine as the breath leaves through the nose. So just taking a few more rounds of breath like this, long and deep, we're setting the agenda of our practice today. Tuning in to our parasympathetic nervous system, responsible for our healing, 
our digestion and relaxation. A few rounds of breath like this. And as we lay here, we can bring to mind a Sankalpa for this practice. Sankalpa is an intention. So we can bring to mind something that is personal to us, something that we are working towards, something we can guide the energy of this practice towards. Repeating in this in your mind three times. Releasing uncertainty. Let us hug the knees now into the chest. And taking a couple more rounds of abdominal breathing. As we inhale, we feel the abdomen pushing towards the thighs. And then as we exhale, the thighs are drawing into the abdomen, helping us to expel the air from the body. A couple more rounds here. Calming and cooling breath. Let us massage now the lower spine. So taking some circles in one direction and then the other, circling through the knees, connecting to the abdomen, and just encouraging an opening and warmth in the abdomen, a space that the breath can arrive to many times in this practice. We'll take the hands now <coughs> behind the knees and very slowly and calmly we're just going to rock forwards and backwards just bringing some slight movement into the spine so nothing too crazy just nice and calm we bring ourselves up to a seated position we'll bring the hands now onto the knees we can do this with the eyes closed. We're just going to begin to snake the spine from side to side. We're starting off with the hips, the tailbone. We begin to work up, bring the abdomen into this movement. Then the chest, then the shoulders, then the neck and the head. into centre now. We're going to take a few circles now to just really awaken and connect to the abdomen. So bring the hands now to the knees. As we inhale we're going to just rock forward slightly so we'll start off with smaller circles and then as we exhale let's rock back around drawing the abdomen in. We can do these movements with the eyes closed in this practice, there's going to be many opportunities to move with our breath, with the eyes closed. Come back into the centre. We'll take a few more in the other direction. So starting off with small circles, heavy into the sit bones, avoid toppling over. Let's just enjoy these circles from side to side. When you come round, let's come back into the centre. We're going to, I'm going to share a mantra now, a mantra that we're going to be using in this practice, a very simple one. This one is Shivo Hum. Shivo Hum translates as I am well-being. I am well-being, the thoughts I create are here to help me with my well-being and health. All my actions are for the positivity of the people around me. 
So just invoking these words and intentions as we chant this. So mantra is Shivoham, Shivoham. So I will chant it, then I'll invite you to join with me if you feel comfortable. Shivoham, Shivoham. Together. Shivoham, Shivoham. Shivoham, Shivoham. Shivoham, Shivoham. Shivoham. Shivoham 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 Allowing these vibrations to settle in the body I am well-being All thoughts I create are for my health and well-being slowly opening up the eyes we're going to come into another gentle pranayama we're going to do seated cat cow we're just taking it nice and easy today bringing the hands beside the body we're sitting nice and tall with an inhale let's float the arms up towards the sky taking the arms out towards the sides fingertips spread nice and wide open across the chest then as we exhale let's reach forwards calm breath draw abdomen in arch through the spine four more here guiding prana within inhale lift up uplifting yourself creating space in the front body exhale moving together as one drawing abdomen in three more inhale exhale inhale exhale final one drawing abdomen in inhale raise up so this time hold the breath in we're going to spread the legs out wide holding the breath in legs pressing into the earth let's take an exhale taking the hands towards the ankles or the feet drawing the chin into the throat squeeze the abdomen in lengthen through the spine and with every exhale melting the chest to the earth. Let's hold here for a moment. Calming, cooling breaths. We use this practice today to soothe and detoxify. Now with an inhale, let's raise the arms back over the head. And as we exhale, let's lower hands back to the earth. Let's cross over the legs. Let's bring some more gentle, calming movement into the body. Lots of breathing today. Inhale, raise the arms up over the head. Raising the arms up. Exhale, let's press the fingertips away from the body. We can do this with the eyes closed. Inhale, raising up. And just imagine that you're powering up. Exhale, a ring of protection around the body. A golden light of safety and nothing can enter this space unless it has our permission. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Final one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Okay, let's move into seated twist. Inhale, let's raise arms up. Exhale, we're twisting towards our left side. Right hand is on left knee, left hand behind the body, looking over towards the shoulder. We'll take three in each direction. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, twist right side. Breath is flowing in and out through the body. Inhale, raise up. With ease, no effort whatsoever. Exhale. Face is soft. Inhale. Jaw is relaxed. Exhale. Final one on each side we're going to hold. Inhale, long arms. And exhale, twist left side. Hold. Feeling 
intercostal muscles opening, expansion across the chest. So our breath has space to land. Inhale, raise arms up. Exhale, twist right side. Hold here. Last breath. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, hands come down to the knees. Okay, so from here, let's roll onto the knees into Vajrasana. So shuffling the knees together, sitting onto the heels. If you're unable to sit on your heels, you can place a blanket or a block there. Knees are pressing into the earth, just ensuring that we have lots of space in the chest. Supta Vajrasana. Let's take the hands behind the body now and begin to lift through the chest. Fingertips are pointing away. Shoulder blades are moving together. Let's open out through the throat, lift up through the chin and breathe here. Feeling sternum moving in opposite directions. Breathe and guide the breath to the abdomen. Feeling open hearted, loving and kind. Last couple of breaths. Okay, let's gently bring the fingertips towards the body. Let's open the knees out wide, touching the toes together. Let's move ourselves into a, a wide leg child's pose. So separating the arms out wide, softening through the chest, sitting down into the sit bones, melting here. We're going to take three rounds now of Brahmi breath. Remember the low buzzing sound from the back of the throat. Let's take an inhale. deep Healing yourself will ask more of you. More rest, more self-love, more letting go, more time for learning, more space for transformation, more honesty about how you feel, more time developing good habits, more courage Try new practices, more time cultivating your inner peace and more faith in yourself and the process. When you're ready, press into the hands, bring yourself up to a tabletop position. Knees are hip width distance apart, toes are pointing away. Let's press into the shins. Fingertips are spread wide, forearms are facing in. We take five rounds of cat cow. So with an inhale, let's lead with the neck. Just feel an openness, the shoulder blades moving together, tailbone moving up. Exhale, let's round. Nice and calm, fluid breath, squeezing to the glutes. Inhale, experience this opening, moving together as one. Exhale, let's round. Inhale, calm breath. Exhale, roll the body in. Squeeze abdomen in two more. Inhale. And exhale, soft faced. Final one. Inhale. Filling the lungs, filling the abdomen. 
exhale let's round draw abdomen in arch through the spine exhaling completely and let's bring ourselves into a tabletop position we're coming into twisted cat pose now again with without with effort without effort and ease nice and easy today shifting the weight into the left arm hovering the right hand off the earth let's take a big inhale let's raise the right arm up towards the sky keeping the pelvis even looking up towards the right hand if you can exhale keeping the eyes on the hand let's take the right arm underneath the left arm lowering the side of the head to the earth twist from the core inhale float right arm up open across the chest looking towards the hand exhale eyes on the right hand and with every twist we take let's twist a bit deeper if we can inhale long breath exhale hand comes down to the earth twist to the left side final one here inhale raise up open across the chest exhale right arm comes underneath the left arm good so just ensuring that we're safe and secure on the side of the hand, we can deepen this twist. So with an inhale, we'll raise the left arm up towards the sky, freeing the left shoulder. Then we'll exhale, bend the elbow, take the left hand towards the right hip. Open across the chest, breathe here. Experience this expansion and opening across the front body, keeping the pelvis even, pressing into the toes. Final breath. Inhale, let's raise left arm back up to the sky. And exhale, we'll gently lower left hand down to the earth. Let's free the right arm and we'll come back into a tabletop pose and we can give the wrist a bit of a shake here. And we'll do the same on the other side. Making any movements with the wrist here if you need to. Fingertips spread nice and wide on the right hand. Shift the weight into the right arm. Lift out the right shoulder. Inhale, open left side body. Raise left arm up towards the sky, keeping pelvis even. Exhale, keeping the eyes on the left hand. Let's take the left arm underneath the right arm, lowering the side of the head towards the earth. Inhale, let's connect with the core, matching our movement with our breath. breath. Raise up. Exhale, left hand comes down to the earth, twisting a bit deeper if we can. Inhale, long arm, raise up, good, smooth, fluid movement. Exhale, left hand comes down to the right side. Final one to hold, inhale. And then exhale, sliding left arm underneath the right. Making any adjustments, just ensuring that we're safe on the side of the head. And when you're ready, raising right fingertips towards the sky, opening out through the shoulder and then the back of the right hand comes towards the left hip. Open through the chest, draw the belly in, keeping the pelvis even. Hold. Lovely. Inhale, fingertips back up towards the sky. Exhale, let's bring the right hand to the earth. Let's free the left arm come back into tabletop and just taking whatever movements you wish to take, whatever feels comfortable to you. From tabletop pose, bring the toes together. We'll separate the knees nice and wide. This time we're going to make a little pillow for our head. So one hand is on top of each hand, elbows are out wide. And here now we're sinking the chest down as we press into the heel so the chest is open and expanded we take three more brahmi breaths here inhale
soothing and detoxifying the body. Let's press into the hands now. Bring ourselves to tabletop position. We'll walk the hands forwards, fingertips spread wide, just ensuring that the pads, pads of the hands are nice and safe and we'll lower the fingertips to the earth. Let's come into downwards facing dog. Knees are slightly bent. We're going to raise the pelvis up. Walking the feet in, lengthening through the backs of the legs. You can soften the knees if you wish to stretch out the back and then we'll send the heels down towards the earth. Let's walk the feet out, lifting up one heel then the other. Maybe, to maybe taking a few twists from side to side. Bringing some softness into the hips and abdomen. And then you can finally take any additional movements you wish to take. Maybe crossing the legs over, maybe lifting up one leg then the other. Working creatively, intuitively with your body, even shaking the head out. Lovely. Let's look towards the hands now. We'll step the right foot forwards, we'll step the left foot forwards. Slight gap in between the feet. We'll take an inhale, we're going to come all the way up to rise. Look up towards the hands. Exhale, we'll draw the belly in. We'll bring ourselves down into a forwards fold. Let's take the first two fingers now and wrap them round the big toes. With an inhale, straighten the legs, look forwards as if we are coming to stand up, but the arms are stopping us. Exhale, let's open the elbows out to the side as the forehead moves closer to the knees. Drawing the belly in, crown of the head moves to the earth. Stretching and lengthening, backs of the legs, the lower back, work with gravity to calm and soothe us. Okay, let's release the toes. Hands come to the tops of the shins now. Lowering the head down, and let's gently roll the body up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms open to the side. We'll rock the feet forwards and backwards, separating the toes. Lowering the whole of the feet, foot down towards the earth. Draw the belly in, open across the chest. Fingertips and arms away from the body. Eyes closed, face is soft. A couple of deep breaths here. Being proud to walk on your path. Moving away from negativity and moving towards the light. So from here then, we're going to take a few rounds of quarter salutation and we'll move into some half salutations. We'll bring the hands together into the heart space, just moving calmly with our breath. Let's take an inhale, raise the arms up over the head, lifting out of the lower back. And as we exhale, draw the hands through the chest, exhaling out of the nose. We're going to take a few more Feel free to close the eyes to do this. Inhale, breathing. Filling the lungs, filling the abdomen, lifting towards the ceiling. Exhale. Hands come down towards the chest, exhaling out the nose. Inhale. Big breath in. Exhale, hands into the heart space. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift through the shoulders, open across the chest, strong arms. Exhaling, hands to the heart center, beautiful. Holding the hands in the heart space for a moment. Just checking in with the mind. And we can use this opportunity to remind ourselves of our Sankalpa for this practice. The one that is personal to you, the one that you created at the beginning of our session today. We're going to take a few more rounds now of half salutation, moving mindfully and calmly. Inhale, let's raise the arms up over the head. Exhale, we're going to draw the belly in. Make our way down towards a forwards fold. Crown of the head extends to the earth. 
Inhale, let's straighten up through the legs. Fingertips on the earth, hands on the shins, knees or thighs. But feel the shoulder blades moving together. Exhale, let's soften in the knees, forehead is below the knees. Inhale, let's press firmly into the feet, raise arms up. Exhale, hands into heart centre, good. Inhale, just focus on your breath. Exhale, draw belly in. Let's come down into a forwards fold, forehead below the knees. Inhale, straighten legs. Lift up through the chest, shoulder blades move together. Exhale, let's sink, good. Inhale, let's press into the feet, raise up. Exhale, hands in front of the body. Inhale, open to receive. Exhale, folding forwards, abundance of love. Inhale, straighten legs, hands to the thighs, knees or earth. Exhale, let's soften. Inhale, raise arms up. Exhale, hands in front of the body, one more. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, let's fold. Inhale, straighten legs. Exhale to soften. Inhale, press firmly into the feet, raise up. And exhale, hands into heart center. Beautiful, well done everyone. Close the eyes. Holding the breath in. Simulating the prana that surrounds us, this life force energy. We're using healing energy today help us move away from worry and move to a place of strength. Okay, let's gently open up the eyes now. We're going to come into our balance today. Balance are really good for helping us with our focus and concentration. We're going to shift the weight now onto the left leg and we'll rock this left foot forwards and backwards, lowering all of the toes down into the earth. Tuck the belly in, tailbone wraps around. We're going to come up onto the right tiptoes, keep the pelvis even. As we inhale, let's raise the arms out in front of the body and then also lift up this right knee, bringing it to a height that's appropriate to you, flexing through the toes. We can pick something in front of the body to gaze at our dristi point. Breathe here for five breaths. Strong in the leg, clearing our mind in this moment. Breathe. Let's turn the palms to face in now. We're going to raise the arms up over the head. Open through the chest again, the knee is still raised to a height that's appropriate to us. Lifting out the shoulders once again, five breaths. Focusing on our breath. Emptying our mind. Final position. Let's bring the hands now to the waist. Let's point the toes forwards. Slight external rotation of the thigh. Again, five breaths. Lift through the chest, pointing the toes forwards, long in the back of the leg lifting the leg as high as you can. Guiding the breath to the area that you need it. Last breath. Let's bring the knee now into the center. We'll wrap, interlace the fingertips around the knee, squeeze the abdomen in, exhale completely, rounding the upper body into the knee, and then carefully, let's place that right leg down. We'll walk the legs out. We'll do the same on the other side. Shifting the weight into the right foot, let's rock the right foot forwards and backwards. Pressing down with all five toes, lifting from the right thigh. Let's come up onto the left hip toes, connect with the core. Arms beside the body, inhale, raise arms up and lift up the left knee to a height that's appropriate to you. Left toes flexed in towards you, activating through the calf muscle 
and just choosing something in front of you to gaze at. Focus the attention there and guide the breath to the area of the body that you need it. Breathe. Chest open, shoulders relaxed. Turn the palms to face in. Let's raise the arms up over the head. Lift through the lower spine. Five breaths here. Breathe. Moving with awareness through this sequence. Last breath. Let's bring the hands now to the waist. Point the left toes forward, straightening the front of the leg if we can. Keeping the pelvis even open and across the chest. Breathe here for five. Using leg strength to help keep us here. Good. Guiding the breath within. Last breath. Carefully, let's bend the left knee. Let's give ourselves a squeeze. As we draw the thigh into the abdomen, let's exhale completely round the upper body, taking the forehead into the knee. And then gently, let's place the left leg down to the earth. Well done. Let's walk the legs out, rotating the ankles if we wish, just shaking the legs off, just releasing the stress and tension from there. Let's step towards the short edge of our mat. Let's take an inhale, we're moving to our floor sequence. Exhale, draw belly in. Let's bring ourselves into a forwards fold. From forwards fold, let's step back into downwards facing dog. Where we'll hold here for a moment. Heels are moving towards the earth, shoulders are away from the ears. Breathe here for a moment. We're going to come into a twist. So from this downwards facing dog now, let's lift up the right leg, toes pointing towards the sky into three-legged dog. Gently as we exhale, let's bring the right foot in between the hands and we'll lower the left knee down, uncurling the back toes. We're going to shuffle the right foot now towards the long edge of the mat. We're going to place the left hand onto the earth or onto blocks tips of the left fingers in line with the tips of the right toes. Let's take the belly in. With an inhale, let's raise the right arm up towards the sky. Shoulder blades stacked on top of each other, right knees pointing forwards. Lift up towards the fingertips here for five breaths. Again, openness and expansiveness across the chest as we look towards the fingertips. Heavy into the top of the thigh, Let's breathe here. For the final five breaths, you can stay here. If we're feeling adventurous, we can curl the left toes. We can lift the left knee and then send the left heel down to the earth, but keep the upper body where it is for five breaths. Now we're using our thigh strength to help keep us here as we open the chest and twist from the waist. Breathing a bit stronger and deeper here if you can for the final three breaths. Okay, with control, let's lower the left knee down. We bring the right hand down to the earth, shuffle the right toes to the center line. We're going to lift up the left knee. We'll step the right leg back. We we'll come back into downwards facing dog. We'll do the same on the other side. Inhale, raise left leg up. Internal rotation, left thigh. Exhale, float left foot in between the hands. Lower down, right knee. Uncurl the back toes. Shuffle the left foot towards the left hand so you have some space. Bring the right hand down to the earth or onto a block. Left knee in line with the left ankle. Tuck the belly in. Inhale, raise up. Sending the left fingertips towards the ceiling. Shoulder blades stacked on top of each other. Long in this left arm for five breaths. Nowhere to be but here.
final five breaths, we can stay here. Or we can curl the right toes, connect with the right buttock, lift up the left knee, send the right heel away from you. Finding some additional space in this twist for five breaths. Two and one. Well done. Lowering the right knee down, looking towards the left toe. Let's lift up the right leg now. We'll step the left leg back, downwards facing dog. Downwards facing dog. Let's bring the knees together. We'll take a restorative child's pose. Now, knees are together. Forehead is on the knee, on the earth or on a block. Arms beside the body, rolling the shoulders in. Take five long, deep breaths. Making the body as small as you can. Calming breaths. Here we stimulate the third eye, the Ajah Chakra, by connecting with the earth, responsible for our wisdom, intellect, And then from this restorative child's pose, let's transfer into a wide-legged child's pose. So we bring the hands in front of the body, separate the knees out wide, toes are touching together, lengthening the arms out in front of the body as we soften through the heart. Few deep breaths here. Lovely. So from this wide leg child's pose, let's raise up onto the knees, cross the feet over and we'll bring ourselves to a seated position. Adha Matsya and the Asan. Coming into a twist. So let's roll onto the left side, lift up the right leg. We're going to shuffle this left foot round towards the right hip. So the left knee is central. We're going to lift up the right leg across the knee. So we can bring the sole of the right foot down to the earth. Both knees are central. Let's lift up from the lower back, drawing the belly in. Let's wrap the left elbow around the right knee. With an inhale, let's raise the right arm up towards the sky, freeing the right shoulder. And then as we exhale, let's twist around towards our right side. So we can wrap the arm around that right knee or we can take the elbow to the outside of the right knee, touching the index finger and the thumb together to create more opening in the chest. Five breaths here. So using the hand that's behind you to help you keep the spine tall, working directly into our digestive system with this twist, detoxifying with every breath. Open across the chest, breathe here. Good. Now let's twist back into the center, raise the arms up and exhale, we'll bring the hands back down to the earth. Let's lift up the right leg, bring the sole of the right foot to the earth. Let's untuck the left leg, taking the feet out wide. We'll take the hands behind the body and then just take a few windscreen wipes from one side to the other, releasing through the hips, release through the spine before we proceed to the other side. Okay, let's tuck the right leg now underneath, right knees in the center, right heel is moving towards our left hip. Let's lift the left leg across the knee. Sole of the left foot ideally is resting on the earth or we can be just coming onto the outer edge of the foot. Whatever that helps us to feel comfortable and safe, but we want the knees to be central. Draw the belly in, wrap the right arm round now, the left knee. Inhale, send the left arm up towards the sky, tucking belly in. Exhale, twist around towards left side. Again, palm can be facing in towards us, but if we have the ability, we can place the right elbow to the outside of the 
left knee. Touching index fingers and the thumb together. John Mudra, five breaths here. Twist. With an inhale, we're lengthening. Exhale, let's twist. Still keeping the breath long and deep. Good. Inhale, connect to the core, float arms up. Exhale, lifting the left leg, sole of the left foot comes to the earth. Bringing the right foot down towards the earth, rolling the knees in again, taking the hands behind the body, windscreen wipe both of the legs, releasing through the hips, release through the lower back. Almost there. Okay, now from where we are, let's straighten the legs out in front of the body, shuffling yourself towards the short edge of the mat. Placing the hands behind you, let's begin to make our way down to lying. We're coming into three rounds now of bridge pose. This is our inversion. Inversions are just helping us to send fresh blood and oxygen towards our digestive system and our head in preparation for our beautiful relaxation. Let's bend through the knees now, fingertips grazing the backs of the heels, toes pointing forwards, thighs and shins are parallel. We'll take three rounds. So with an inhale, let's press firmly into the feet, raising the pelvis up, softening through the shoulders. Five breaths here. So just ensuring that the knees aren't rocking in or they aren't splaying out wide. They're just nice and central and we can activate through the buttocks and glutes to help us do so. Two. And one. With control, lowering the pelvis down towards the earth. Second round. Inhale, press firmly into the feet, raising the pelvis up. Heart overhead inversion. Breathe here. Keeping the face soft. Jaw relaxed, toes pointing forwards. Inhale, press firmly into the feet, raise up, and exhale, we'll lower spine down towards the earth, vertebrae by vertebrae. So third round, if it's available, we may wish to tuck the shoulders in, and we may wish to clasp our hands to gain us some additional height. If that's not available to you, that's fine. You can come up in a manner that is appropriate to you. Inhale, press firmly into the feet. Tucking shoulders in if you can, clasping the hands if you can. If the hands are clasped, outer edges of the hands, pressing firmly into the earth to help you gain some additional height. Breathe here. Active through the core. Strong in the thighs. Calming down the mind. Okay, unclasping the hands, untucking the shoulders, lowering the spine down towards the earth, vertebrae by vertebrae. Let's shuffle the feet in together now, bring the knees into the chest. With an inhale, let's lift the shoulders, neck and head off the earth. Exhale, let's bring, wrap the arms around the knees. Just allowing the spine to reset and restore. Inhale, forehead comes up to the knees. Exhale, gently lowering shoulders, neck and head down to the earth. Let's open the arms out to the side now, palms face up. Keeping the feet together, keeping the knees together. And then gently as we exhale, let's lower the knees down towards our right side. We can tuck the hips towards the left side if we need to create some additional space. And we, if the knees aren't quite reaching the earth, we can place a prop underneath it. Open across the chest, soft in the abdomen. We're going to take our final three rounds of Brahmi breath on each side. So joining me in inhaling.
bringing the knees into center. You can tap the toes down, shuffle the hips to the right side if you wish. Keeping the feet together, keeping the knees together. Let's twist towards the left side. You can take the neck in whichever direction that you feel comfortable to. Settling into this twist on the left side. Three more final rounds of primary breath. Inhale. Inhale. Carefully, when we're in consideration, let's bring the knees into the center. Gently, we'll take the left leg towards the corner of the mat, followed by the right leg. Outer edges of the feet move towards the earth. Arms away from the body, palms facing up, or maybe having one hand on the abdomen and one on the heart. Finding your final resting position of Shavasana. Our true heritage. The cosmos is filled with precious gems and I want to offer a handful of them to you. Each moment you are alive is a gem shining through and containing earth and sky, water and clouds. It needs you to breathe gently for the miracles to be displayed. Suddenly you hear the birds singing, the pines chanting, see the, bl the, see the flowers blooming the blue sky, the white clouds, the smile and the marvellous look of your beloved. You are the richest person on earth. Come back and claim your heritage. Enjoy your happiness and offer it to everyone. Cherish this very moment. Let go of the stream of distress and embrace life fully in your arms.
just recognize how light, how peaceful you are. Staying with this feeling as we bring some slight movement to the fingertips and toes. We can bring the knees into the chest now, wrapping the arms around the knees, giving yourselves a warm hug. Thanking yourself for your efforts in this practice. Thanking yourself for bringing this ancient practice of yoga into your life and thanking yourself for this body. Let's roll on to the right side and tuck ourselves into a tight pose. The eyes closed. Let's press into the earth with the left hand and bring ourselves to a seated position. Bring the hands together, Namaskar Mudra, centre of the chest. Peace within you, peace surrounding you, peace everywhere for everyone. Shivo Hum, Shivo Hum, Shivo Hum. It's been an honour, pleasure to serve you in this practice today. Thank you for being here and participating. We're going to conclude our practice today by chanting one Om, three Shantis together. Let's take a breath in. Om Shanti 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 Always respect yourself. Thank you.